Project Lead the Way, an educational program based at Indianapolis that focuses in high school on either three topics, computer science, biomedical sciences, or engineering. I went through all four years of the engineering program during high school, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience in the Project Lead the Way program. So the first course is IED, Introduction to Engineering Design. This class is the most CAD-heavy class you'll have in the entire process. It's really the only class in the four years that focuses on CAD. So I'm going to go a little bit into some of the projects that I went through in IED. One of the major projects that I had in IED was actually making a do-it-yourself train. And in this train, we had a certain amount of spec parts that had to be certain specifications to what the teacher was looking for and then we also had a few parts where we had to pick a theme and then design parts of the train off of that theme to look different from everybody else's and it was a kind of a way to personalize the cat experience into more of what you wanted to create so that was pretty cool and also another cat project i did was actually designing like a sports storage area where you can put like hats, baseball bats, basketballs, and soccer balls. I actually have a picture of that one. I can show it. It's not great, but I mean, freshman doing cat. Yikes. And then we also had some robotics elements in IED. You don't have most of the robotic experience in IED that comes in the second year class I'll go into later. But one thing we did do was a battery powered car. It's a simple drag race. We actually had a competition where we had people go against each other to see what the fastest car was, even though it's slightly dependent on batteries because they're not all the same, but hey. In the first year, it's not that complex. You kind of just learn how to do CAD. I actually did mine on Autodesk Inventor. I know that's not a common thing. People normally use like Fusion or Autodesk, but mine was Inventor. And that's most of the first year. Now, the second year is POE, Principles of Engineering. I only went through the three-fourths of this class because COVID. I didn't have the first, the last quarter, but I know what we were going to do in it, so I can kind of go through that. The main draw of POE is that's where most of the robotics takes place in the engineering high school part of Project Lead the Way, PLTW. So one of the things we did is instead of a battery powered car, we actually did a hydro hydraulic powered car. We learned about like hydraulics and pneumatics, and then we made a hydraulic powered car. Another thing I did was a ping pong ball launcher. So basically we just designed a mechanism that would be powered by motors that would shoot ping pong balls into different containers for points. And then POE is principles of engineering is also more where the math takes place in the course. I didn't do a lot of it, but I know you go into like bridges and trusses and structures and like free body diagrams. And it's really like your physics based part of the project lead the way program. So I think that if you like the math and physics part, your favorite year will probably be POE and with the robotics aspect of that part of the class. Now, I know that engineering has more than four classes, and a lot of them are optional, and the school chooses which one they want. Like, I know for the third year, there's the options between digital electronics, there's an aerospace engineering class, there's uh, biomedical engineering, I think. But the one that my school had for the third year was digital electronics. So if somebody was more into like electrical engineering, they would really enjoy this class because it really focused on circuits. And we had this program called Multisim, where a lot of circuit making and determining how like wiring and the process of electricity flow works. And there's also topics like breadboarding and soldering. We actually made a Christmas tree soldering. Mine didn't work, but it was a lot of like soldering lights and resistors and all that kind of stuff. But Digital electronics is definitely the electrical engineering class that PLTW offers. I wasn't the biggest fan of it because I'm personally wanting to go into mechanical engineering in college, but I know for the people who liked electrical engineering, 
they really enjoy just going for all the circuit stuff and learning about things like binary, uh, counters, timers, and how to make all that stuff in a real scenario such as either in multi-sim or in a breadboard and just going through that. Now, an interesting thing from my experience going into the last course of EDD, Engineering Design and Development, is I actually had three different teachers throughout all of my four years of the program. So I had one for the first two years, one for the third year, and then I had a completely new teacher for EDD that had never taught it before. So going in, he didn't really know the process of how the last year capstone of the course, which is basically a full year project design, go through the engineering process. He didn't really know how it would work. So it was kind of just like we were the guinea pigs to find out. So I know a lot of the projects in my class weren't exactly the most complex things. If you saw one of my other videos, I showed pictures of the mouse pad that my group decided to make for Chromebooks because we use Chromebooks in our school and if we were not in like an environment with a desk, I don't know, we thought mouse pads would be cool. So basically how the last year of the class works or the last year of the program works in EDD is you first, you get a group, you go for a group and then you brainstorm a bunch of different problems and then you first find the problem and then with your problem you figure out what are good solutions to the problem. And then once you figure out solutions to the problem, you then start figuring out what are people's other solutions to this problem and what can we take from those other solutions come up with our own different solution to try to make a prototype of your own product. So basically the first semester is just figuring out what you wanna do with the pro problem and then a solution with that. And then the second semester is focused on designing your solution to that problem not making it that it works, you could make it to how it works, but it's more just going through the process and feeling that like failure is okay and making something is also great. And then at the end, there's a big presentation and you basically go through what you learned, what your problem was, your solution, your entire process, and then how it went. There's also a lot of like testing involves, you know, the whole scientific method, all that fun stuff. So to conclude, I think that Project Lead the Way is a great program for engineering and kind of getting a baseline of what the engineering process is going to be. Like I would have had no CAD experience otherwise if I had not taken this class and going into engineering in college. It's definitely something that you need at least a little knowledge of is some CAD experience. Even though you learn it there, it's good to come up with a little bit of a baseline. And I also think being able to go through an entire engineering design process project is something that you're definitely going to do in college. I know like my first year engineering class, I'm pretty sure has multiple of the same process that I've already gone through in PLTW engineering program. So I would definitely recommend it for anybody who's interested in engineering. And I think it's a great tool to be able to progress and get an idea of the field. And also, you know, great thing to put on an application. Schools want to see that you're applied in what you want to go into and have a little bit of prior knowledge for it. So I think if you have the option, it's a great, great program to be able to progress your knowledge of the subject. And I can't really say much else. So I hope you learned something about my experience and part of what goes into the Project Lead the Way classes. I wanted to make this short and sweet. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you very much and goodbye.